Another really great thing that we can add to our kernel is voltage control. So uh, we've seen this um, for the 32-bit kernel that we did. We uh, implemented a voltage control there, and we're able to adjust the voltage on the fly for the CPU. And so we want to do the same thing here for this MSM8937 phone. Um, the big difference is that uh, where you find your voltage control. So obviously going to that 32-bit uh, kernel and looking at that voltage control, it won't exactly translate directly over. However, the principles of it are still the same. And that's why I wanted to take a look specifically at this one, uh, this uh, implementation of it. What we have here is uh, somebody did this for the uh, Sony Kugo and um, for the 8976 uh, CPU. And uh, they implemented this voltage control. Well, a very intelligent uh, person. Uh, so this was committed by G... Gigao, Gigao, not really sure how you say that. I definitely want to give some credit to these people because they're doing some really smart things here. We're just going to be taking their work and putting it into our kernel. I don't want to pretend like we wrote this or that I wrote this. I want to want to make sure to give some credit here. So uh, put in this code for how to control the CPU voltage of this uh, 8976 uh, chip. Then another person, uh, DYWN, we've been looking at some of their work before, uh, implemented how to do that on the 8939 kernel uh, MSM uh, that we have. Um, now this is for a different phone, this is for the Xiaomi uh, LAND, but uh, since it uses the same system on a chip, this is going to be really great to uh, essentially steal and put into our uh, kernel. Um, I definitely just want to give some credit to DYWN for the the work of uh, transposing Gagao's work into something that's usable for this kernel. So as you can see, there's a couple of lines in here, <clears throat> and uh, pro probably the best way to do something like this, if you're not sure if it's just going to integrate, you could, you know, just cherry pick this commit and add it to yours. But if you're not sure if you're going to have some conflicts and things, you can do it manually by downloading the files and then taking a look at them with uh, with Diffuse. And so in this case, there's only two files, the clock CPU 8939 and then the CPU freak file. So what I've done is I've loaded up the uh, clock CPU 8939 and uh, both the one that's in the kernel and the one that is uh, that that I downloaded so let's take a look here and yeah okay so what do we see is is for the most part of uh, we've looked at this uh, file well maybe we haven't I, I've looked at this file a lot lately because I was trying to overclock the uh, CPU and so I've been taking a look in this file. Maybe we haven't looked at this file together, but essentially this is just talking about this A53 and how you know it sets up the different voltages and that sort of thing. A um, lot of things that are done in this file. But uh, what I want to focus on is is what code is added here. So what's great about diffuse is you can just highlight the section that you want to copy over and push the button in it and it all goes in. Notice it's green here until I save it. But I want to look at what exactly uh, this says here. Essentially it's uh, two different uh, groupings. We have the get and the set. So we get the the voltages from the regulator to see what are the voltages currently and it takes an input into a buffer it writes them all down uh, and then it has a set function where it takes everything from the buffer and writes it all into the proper files for the kernel so then we see down here we have another set of code um, particularly for, uh, you know, a kernel panic. So if there's some sort of a problem, the kernel is going to panic. And when it panics, what should it do with the voltages? What should it set everything at to make sure that it's in some sort of safe state? 
And then we have a uh, register here just to work and get the information or pass it information. So we're going to save that. Uh, then the other file, once again, it's really handy to find a good reference, you know, to work from. You could actually do all this yourself if you're smart enough. You're probably way smarter than me, and you don't really need this video. But if you uh, are like me and you're just kind of borrowing some other people's work, looking at how things work together and modifying it for your own use, it's really great to have a template to work with. And so we see that the next file we need is driver CPU frequency CPU frequency dot C. So let's go ahead and open that up. Drivers, we've got CPU frequency, CPU frequency dot C, and then we open up CPU frequency dot C. So a couple of changes in here. Now notice that some of these changes are not the changes that we need for this particular commit. So let's take a look at that real quick. Um, for instance, uh, it did include this uh, PMOPP, um, but all of this stuff is not part specifically of this commit. And so that's really important to note. We may need all of these things, but we may not. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind. So then we have around this 126 with CPU frequency driver is slow, and we take a look here. And that's not part of this commit. Nothing is part of this commit until like around 825 where we get CPU clock get VDD. So it's really important to uh, to just be aware of what it is that you're trying to enter into something. Uh, notice that this is not part of it. And this is not part of it. And this is not part of it. It's not until we get down here to this line 825-ish. All this is actually part of the commit that we need. So we grab that, go down to, it looks like 853, there's a CPU freak. Take a look at that. There it is. We'll grab that one. And then at 867, there's a multi-volt table, which is probably important because that's where it's going to store the, uh, or the millivolt to save that information. So that's all we needed in there. Now I do want to clarify, in this last one, we actually copied over, I think, more than we really needed to. Uh, notice that everything was line 231 through 284. So I think we should go back and take a look and make sure that we didn't grab too much information. Let's just make sure we grab the right file here. So this is called Drivers Clock MSM Clock CPU 8939. 8939. Let's open 8939. And actually, let's open up. Since we added a little too much, let's compare it to the original drivers clock MSM 8939. So let's take a look at that. So notice everything we needed for this is all right in here in this 200 range. And these items were not part of the commit, even though they actually do make good sense. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Work that backwards. Even though those do make good sense, that's not uh, necessarily part of this commit for what we're trying to do. All right, so we're going to give that a go, try to build it, and see what uh, what we get. Okay, so the build failed, and the particular issue is this CPR regulator set corner voltage is not 
defined anywhere. So it has a reference to it, but it's not actually in there anywhere. So I had to do a little searching because that was not part of the commit was to add that. And this is where it kind of comes into play, where you have to think outside the box a little bit when you're modifying something for your own kernel. So it turns out there's a uh, file called cprregulator.c. And the way that I found this, if you use a uh, file browser like PC Man FM, uh, you can uh, search with uh, Control Shift F for find and do a content search and say I want to find this in some file and it's only in two files it's in the CPU 8939 file that we've been looking at and then it's also in the CPR regulator file so that's how I found it and so I take a look at it uh, on the right here we have the um, the new the kernel that we want to borrow from and on the left we have the kernel that we currently have and so we're looking for this uh, a declaration of this uh, this CPU and what we see here uh, right here we have this config arch MSM 8937 where it defines this regulator get corner voltage and this set corner voltage right here super important. Uh, there are a few other changes in this file that we don't necessarily need or want. Some things about some data triggers and a few things like that. Some kernel panic type stuff here, which, you know, we had that kernel panic stuff going on. And uh, more panic callback and that atomic notifier. So I really think that this is the lines that we need right here, this config arch msm 8937 if it's going to build for that we need these files so we'll steal those we'll save it and we'll try that build again and see if this solves our problem so sometimes you have to uh, to think outside the box quite a bit as you try to figure out what could be wrong great so we saw that we were able to solve that issue and it actually built in a moment we're going to flash it and I'll take a recording to see how well that worked out. Um, but just to kind of recap, you run into a problem when you're doing kernel modification where something's not defined. You need to search the files, uh, either with a tool or manually or however you can, uh, you know, on GitLab, GitHub, or uh, downloaded and search them there. You need to find the file that it was declared in in the kernel you're borrowing it from and then go find if you can add that declaration to your kernel, which is what we did here in this regulator file, this CPR regulator, and we just add these definitions to uh, to our kernel as well. So just be aware of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flash this to the phone. We'll check it out and see if we get some voltage control. All right, great. So since we flashed that to the phone, we uh, took a look at it. I've got a little video for you here uh, where you can see the CPU voltage is now an option in the kernel. We click on that and you can see each uh, hertz setting, each frequency has now a millivolt uh, adjustable by the end user. So pretty handy, uh, worked out really good. And we can see that there. I do want to point out though, if we look at this again, the only frequencies 960, 1094, 1248, 1344, 1401, these are all frequencies for the big cores and not for the little cores. So uh, obviously a little bit more work would have to be done to add the little cores into the voltage control as well, but uh, certainly could be improvised on the theme of what we have already. This is already a great start because we can see how to put that into action. So. Uh, worked out good and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video more coming and uh, more exciting stuff that we're going to try to add uh, to this phone